Thanks for choosing Chison AB260. Now we are going to give you an operation training. Part 1 Start the system. Press the power button. Hold it for a moment and the keyboard will light up. You will hear it start up. Part 2 Scanning and Adjustment First, press the Patient button here to create a new patient archive. Then complete the basic information. Press OK. Press the probe button to go back to the probe selection screen. Here are all the exams that are available. Double click the enter button to confirm. Now you can do the scanning. Let's get started in Carotid 2D image on screen. In B mode, four parameters are the most important. They are gain, depth, frequency, and focus. Firstly, Gain control consists of total gain and TGC. To adjust the total gain, twist the gain button to decrease or increase. Make sure the image is not too bright or too dark. TGC from top to bottom, it has eight selections. It can change the gain of different depths. We have the shortcut keys here. The first line parameters can be changed by pressing. So you can change the frequency and the focus number here. And the second line can be changed by twisting. And you can change the focus position here. Also, we have some other parameters. Press the menu button, they will show up. Here you can see the utility knob. Press it and the keyboard light function shows up. Here you can change the intensity of the light. Press this key to exit menu. Here is AIO. Press the knob and it will show you the best optimized image automatically. Here we have a full screen option. Press again to go back. Across the top, there is a single screen, dual screen, and quad screen. Here, this area is for measurement. Distance is for simple distance measurement.
trains can do the simple trains. Here is the complete calculation package. Press the change key to change the package. For example, this is for obstetric. The results can be moved. and the size can be changed. Here is the comment button. Twist the menu key to select and press the menu key to enter. We also have the quick comment it has six frequently used comments. Rotate this key to select and press this key to input. Here is the body mark. Press the corresponding knob to put. Rotate the angle knob to change the direction. Move the trackboard to change the position of arrow. Press the Enter key to confirm. Then you can use the trackboard to move the body mark position. Press the body mark again to turn it off. This key is to save still image. Another key is to save movie. And they will display at below area. You can use the cursor to record the image. Press clear key to delete the wrong measurements and comments. Let's move to color mode now. In color mode, we have to adjust four parameters. Interesting box, color gain, PRF, and WF. Press Enter key once and move the trackball. We can change the size of interesting box. Press Enter key again, it will be fixed. Rotate the gain key to adjust the color gain and reach the color gain to a reasonable level so that the blood flow will not exceed the vessel or disappear from the vessel. Twist this key to adjust the PRF to make blood flow display appropriately. Press this key to adjust the wall filter. Get rid of some useless Doppler signals generated by the movements of internal organs. Press the menu key to open the BBC mode. Press again to turn it off. Here is a CPA button for color power Doppler. 
Press the button to turn the function on. Press again to turn it off. Now let's move to D mode. Press key D to enter into the PW mode. Use the Enter and the trackboard to adjust the size of sample gate. Twist the Angle key to change the Doppler angle. And the way you have done, just hit update. The spectrum shows up. Rotate the key again to adjust the total spectrum brightness. Twist this key to change the baseline. Press triple X key to open triple X function. It shows the B, C, and P, W in real time. Press again to turn it off. Now, let's select the Faced Array Probe, and I will start by doing Tissue Doppler. TDI is simply done by pressing here. Use the trackboard to change the position. Enter to change the size. Press D button, you will get the spectrum. For the CW continuous wave Doppler, you have to start with PW first. Then push down CW button and the CW spectrum shows up. Now going into M mode. You will get your reference line here. To change the layout, you can just simply push and it will go left, right, or In archive, you can see all the exams you have done. If you want to export it, Here you can back up the exam and restore in another system easily. Part 4, System Setting Press System Setting key
When the exam is done, you can press this key to review the images from the study. In archive, you can see all the exams you have done. If you want to export it to the USB, first plug your disk to the system until it is recognized. Then select the exam, click this item to send it to your disk. Select image and movie formats. Press export. Here you can back up the exam and restore in another system easily. Part 4, System Setting Press System Setting key For the setting, let's start on General You have your own department, the format of date and time, and other settings It is worth mentioning that you can change the language without restarting the system. It's very convenient. Here you can see the information of your PC or video printers. Here you can set up custom measurements. In general, you can modify the unit, follicle method, and the heart rate circle. In configuration, you can add or remove them from the menu. For example, I can add a new measurement for distance and general measurement package. And name it test. Press add and you can change the unit and the method here. Press save and wait for a few seconds. Now you can see in general measurement package, you have got the new measurement named test. And you can see it works. Let's go back to setup. You can change the OB formulas here. When you search for comment, you have your comment library here. You can add or remove the comment. And the body mark works very much the same way.
In exam mode, you can select different applications, add or remove them from the library. Here you can export the configuration to a U disk and import it in another system. You can also restore it. These keys can be set to various functions, and you can change each function here. For DICOM setup, this is a very complicated procedure, but on this system, it's very convenient. In general, before you do a DICON, there are many things that you must have in order to complete it, and you have to do the network first. All the settings about DICON and the network, you have to communicate with your IT persons. In the system settings, you can see your software version and just one key to update. Here, you can see all the functions of the system. And that's all the training of our Chison EBIT60. Thanks for watching.